Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. And we're starting this one off on 41,670 total points and also a lot of 99s on our skills. 2,233 is our total level with way over 500 million total experience. There is one thing that needs to change in this video and that is... This ugly escape. What is this? We gotta change it. We gotta get an infernal cape. And we just obtained 25 million Slayer experience. So far I've killed 726 skeletal wyverns. So I'm about one fourth of the way to a VC drop rate. I think I wanna stay doing this until the clue scrolls get changed. At that point, I'll focus on clue scrolls. But for now, I'm just gonna chill, relax, lay back and get some prayer XP. Hopefully get a VC, we'll see. So what I'm about to do, you most likely do not want to do on your league's account. And I'm about to extend some tasks that are pretty annoying to constantly go to the place and back and to the place and back. And one of the things I've been doing a lot are wyverns. So I will actually extend the wyverns. If I had the recall relic, I would never do that because you can just farm points, farm tasks. But because I don't, I do not like to run there so often. So we are unlocking this one. So it's going to be a much bigger task the next time we take it. But we are also going to do this one. Whenever you get a mithril dragon task, it'll be a bigger task. So reason for that is I need to get a chewed bone. At some point, I probably want to get a dragon full helm. I think I'll do a couple of mithril dragons right now, in fact. Hey, look at that. Shield left half. There it is, 86 prayer. I pretty much just come here at Mithril Dragons, toss my account AFK, and I can pretty much be here almost forever. Next time I'm bringing one prayer potion as well. What a timing, there is chewed bones and for the last 30 minutes I was on a phone call. I end the phone call, first drop, boom, chewed bones, perfect timing. I'll finish the task, who knows, and then this is a task that we can complete. It is 1 in 80 something to get a dragon full helm off of these. Once you put them on the pyre ship and it's like 1 in 32,000 I think to just get them straight off of Mithril Dragon. Honestly, every time I do this I have no clue what's happening. But I think I have all the stuff that I need if I just chuck all of these on... No? <laughs> Hello? What's happening? Maybe I use this on... Oh, maybe I just wait actually. Wait, it does everything by itself? Oh, there we go. The task is done. What do we get? Rune arrows. <laughs> All right, well, um, good. The task is done at least. All right, let's test out how this whole update worked. We have a greater abyssal demon over here, meaning that he will guaranteedly drop me an elite clue and hard clue. So there it is. We have both of them and now we need to check the steps. This should be step three. Yes, and this should be step one. Yes, it works. Sick, let's go ahead and uh, have some finally some clue completions. I'm actually gonna stack the clues. I'm not just gonna go and do it. It was only a matter of time uh, when we are gonna get another rare drop. And here is eternal gem number two. <laughs> no use for that, but it's gonna look good in the bank, I guess. And uh, my inventory is kind of filling up, so I have to take care of that somehow. I'm not quite sure how I'll go about that. Hey, first whip. Nice. Uh, the task is almost completed, and this whole task only got us three hard clues and one elite. Well, I say only. Before, it was just a miracle if you were able to even complete one clue scroll. So it's still not gonna be, like, insanely fast. I'm still dropping most of my clues, but I can actually slowly get those completions in and work towards the points and I'm very happy about that this might seem completely random to everyone what I'm about to do but I'm gonna go kill some Kriara out of nowhere I've been doing some clues I've been doing some abyssal demons and now out of nowhere I'm just gonna kill Kriara the reason is it is 1 in 15 drop for me to get a dwarf seed and you're like dude what you, you need a dwarf seed why would you need a dwarf seed well later on today I'll be doing some barbarian assault with the boys from leech BA and I I think I'll be going for level 5 in every single roll. So the two things left on the elite diary is to pick some dwarf weed from the herb patch at Catherby and to smith a rune hasta at Otto's Grotto. This one is extremely simple, but I cannot pick a dwarf weed if I don't have the seed. So let's go kill some Kriara. <gasps> oh, 
Yo, there we go, KC number 18 armadil chest plate, and I'm not even here for an armadil chest plate. I'm here for a dwarf weed seed. Thank you very much, game. I appreciate it a lot. That is beautiful. I am so happy with that. Very nice. That's like the best piece you can get as well. That is sick. Armadil chain skirt, you are kidding me! Oh my god, I'm so spoon fed, dude. 21k, see, and I have the chest plate and the legs already. Oh my god. There is going to be some jealous people in the comments for this one. Holy moly. Oh my, look at this absolute unit. It looks like I'm coming straight out of a Deadman Mode tournament. Oh, I'm so happy, but I don't have the dwarf seed. Where's my dwarf seed, man? This is crazy. I am so happy. All right, so I actually just want to open the clues because I have so many things that I'm going to be doing later on today, and I do not want the clues to just sit in my bank being unopened. I know, I know I said I'll stack them up, but you know what? We can always stack them up for the future video. The reason why I want to open it is mainly because if we get god dehyde boots or van braces or something like that, I might... Honestly though, I think I'll camp region bracelet. Just the amount of healing I get from it is perfect. But if I get better boots, that would be ideal. So let's start off with an elite. And we get a master. Ooh, wait, let's see if we can complete the master step. Holy moly, what is this? Wilderness? No, we can't. Okay, and we have five hard caskets. Let's see. First one is whatever. Second one, pretty decent, we'll take a unique. Third one, charge Dragonstone jewelry, don't really need it. I have a bunch of these, it's whatever. Next one, that's a unique, that's solid. And then the last one, that is also a unique and, you know, it, it, it is what it is. Do I get any tasks? No tasks. So, um, yeah, we just opened those because why, why not? You know, if we were to get boots, that would be great. But now I need to return to Kriara and get a dwarf wheat seed. It is that time of the day again where our boys from Leech BA are helping us out with a tier 5 all rolls basically which is one of the last things I gotta do in order to complete the Kandarin Diaries and these guys are freaking amazing so I'm kinda just chilling here. I will join them later on but for now I'm just relaxing, eating my dinner and the boys are doing everything for me. If you guys want their help I will leave the link to their discord in the description obviously. These guys are making my job here much 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 easier. And here we go. I do think this is going to be the last queen. Maybe I'll have to do like one or two more lower tier runs but the boys from league ba have been absolutely phenomenal i wouldn't be finishing this without their help and i have 1.4k 1400 in every row these guys have been absolutely phenomenal three hours and 20 minutes i'm gonna be leaving their discord in the description if anyone wants uh, their help yeah these guys have been absolutely amazing so once again thank you so much guys they literally spent three hours and 30 minutes of their life pretty much just helping me out and uh, i really really appreciate that all right and now for the important part what we need to do is let's not mess this up right so um let's see attacker level up to two accept one more i think there it goes 250 points absolutely massive reach level 5 in every barbarian role so all i gotta do is i gotta come down here read this and that's gonna be it i think there it is the task is completed and now for the hardest task we gotta get ourselves a dwarf seed so earlier I did a little bit of Kriara in hopes of a dwarf with seed. Now I'm gonna give a giant mole a little bit of a shot. Alright then, 60 mole later. Let's see how many seeds we can get out of that. And let's see if we can get a dwarf with seed. Another thing we want is a spirit seed. And this is also a way of getting that. I'll trade you the mole parts. And uh, that's it, I guess. So I guess I need to go to the bank now. I've actually never done this. So I don't even know what I'm doing here. Alright, so as far as I know, I can just extract everything into the bank. And now I'm just gonna grab the nests that have the seeds. There we go, 130. That's a lot. Let's hope for a dwarf wheat seed, I guess. Please, Kentine. Dwarf, oh, there we go. <laughs> Easy, nice. We got uh, two of them. So even if it fails, we're good to go. I'm gonna go plant that right away so I don't forget before I go to bed. And the best part 
is we actually got one spirits is so we only need to get one more I can actually put it in my house and that's gonna be perfect I now have a free teleport right to the fairy ring and right to a spirit tree all right, there we go. I removed my fairy ring and now I can make a spirit tree and fairy ring. So now I pretty much teleport right to my house, run a little bit north and I can either use a ring or I can use a tree and that's amazing. Now, I do need to get another spirit seed and those are very hard to get. And I'll probably put it on Karamja, I think, because one of the tasks requires you to travel between the two trees. And I really want to do that, but that's for the future. Alright, I just woke up and here is a finished dwarf herb and that is a finished Kandarin Elite Diaries. I never thought I'd have this one done. Alright, Mr. Wedge, he will give us the reward. We ask him for another headgear and we use this on the runecrafting to get ourselves 94 runecrafting. And now, for the most important thing... Let's jump into the inferno. If you are interested in an uncut attempt, feel free to check out my second channel. It will be posted there, link in the description. Yes! 
Oh my god, I can do it by myself! Yes! That is so good. My second ever attempt. ACB. I'm shaking. I did this horribly, but I got an Infernal Cape on Twisted Leagues with melee relics at 10 a.m. by myself without the stream. There it is, 500 points, Infernal Cape, is, Infernal Cape is equipped and now for the future capes I can just take a Slayer task and make even 75 minute cape possible, even with melee relic. I am so unbelievably relieved, even though it was just my second attempt, I always doubt myself when it comes to Infernal Capes. I always think I'm not good enough, but this time... I proved it to myself, I decided I'm gonna do it off stream without any help and I'm just gonna go for it and there it is, we got an infernal cape, I am so happy. We are ending this video on 2239 total level, 548 million experience and 43,270 points but most importantly we now have the infernal cape, that was the goal at the start of the video we got it, I'm happy, and so much more content to come in the following days. If you are not yet subscribed, please do, we are so close to 100k, I really hope we can reach it. And uh, yeah, with that being said, stay safe, and I'll see you again very very soon with another upload. Have a good one, and bye bye